Hey guys, it's Jim Nix with Nomadic Pursuits, and I'm going to give you a quick preview of the pretty new software from Mac Fun and Trey Ratcliffe called Aurora HDR Pro. It's awesome. I've been using it for uh, just a few days now, and I'm really, uh, really excited about it. I've been having a lot of fun, and I thought I'd do a quick preview. Um, if you've used any of the Mac Fun products before, like Tonality Pro or Intensify, uh, any of that, then the interface will look uh, immediately familiar to you. But if not, that's okay. It's actually really easy to use. As I said, I'm having a great time with it, and uh, I'm finding that it's allowing me to replace uh, many other products that I, I was using. So it's going to help me simplify my, uh, my digital life, which is nice. So if you look across the top here, um, this is a photo I took in Norway of Lisa Fjord, which is a big fjord in uh, southern Norway, and it's gorgeous. And the big rock uh, jutting out there is called Pulpit Rock. Um, I'm not going to go through a full edit of this photo. I'm just going to show you some of the presets and a little bit of the capability of the software. And um, if you take a look across the top, there's a number of things that I'm, I'm going across with my mouse. Here's where you can uh, zoom in, right? So if you really want to get in there and uh, take a look, you can, or zoom back out. Uh, I haven't applied anything, but that would be the preview button. That would be the split screen, so you can sort of do a drag and compare. Uh, I'll drop that. And then over here is really where uh, the majority of the uh, sort of the fun happens, right? I'm going to collapse all these uh, side menus so that you can see everything that you can do with this software. And as you can tell, there's quite a few of these menus. So bear with me a second while I do that. There we go. Um, the first thing I usually do is I come down and I click this presets button. Uh, in the bottom, there's a whole host of presets. I'm currently in the realistic HDR, but there's a number of them. Trey has a group of presets, and so as with all presets, right, if you just click on one, it'll automatically adjust the photo. Uh, well, that one's kind of crazy, uh, but it's fun. Um, and the cool thing is with each preset, if you look down in this one on the bottom left, you can actually drag us an opacity slider, and it'll help me reduce the opacity of that, uh, that preset. So I can go back to wow uh, or i can take it down and say you know i like generally but that was a little too much right so you can do that and of course you can scroll across and see all these other presets um i won't take you through all these i was uh, hanging out kind of uh before i started this in the realistic hdr preset uh, there's a number of these that are that are quite nice i'm a fan of this vivid memories let me click that there you go that's pretty cool uh, realistic neutral is very subtle as the name implies but also quite good uh, anyway, as you can see, there's quite a few here. I think I'll just leave it on Vivid Memories for now. It's got a lot of pop, uh, and it's uh, it's real pretty. And actually, that's what it looked like. I mean, the, the place is crazy. Uh, once I'm done with presets, I just usually click the preset button again. It'll drop that menu out of the uh, out of view to give you a, a bigger image to, to look at and work on. And it has applied the preset to the uh, to the image. So there you go. Uh, on the right hand side. Uh, is where you make uh, further adjustments, and that's what I normally do. I'll start with a single uh, preset that I choose, and then I'll come over here and make adjustments to it. So if I click on Tone, you can see some of these sliders have already been uh, moved, and that's you know that's what the preset is, right? It's a combination of uh, slider movements all sort of put together in one. Uh, but you can make all sorts of adjustments here to highlights, midtone, shadows, right? Pretty pretty standard stuff there. Structure is cool. A clarity slider if you use. Lightroom, you'll immediately know what clarity does. Let me just sort of jack that up. Uh, there you go. I slid it far to the right, and you can see it really makes the details and sort of the contrast pop. Uh, I'm going to pull that back down just to not uh, make it too crazy. Um, HDR look, as the name implies, gives it a, a, a big bunch of HDRness, uh, which can be fun. Uh, there you go. That's pretty far to the right. That's plus 60. Uh, and of course, you can go to the left as well and take away a lot of that, soften up the details and, and make it a lot more sort of a mellow uh, sort of approach there. So I'm going to, if you double click uh, the uh, the name uh, next to the slider, it takes it back to zero. And HDR detail is similar to HDR look, right? It'll make the details pop quite a bit. So I just slid that one and there you go. You can see the details kind of pop in. So let me close that. Now you can also, if you make adjustments here, uh, and want to compare them uh, before and after. Let me just do a couple just to make it fairly uh, over the top. There you go. You can also click this little radio button there and just turn it off, right? So there you go. Um, I'll turn that off. HDR denoise is great. Um, the cool thing, in fact, probably the coolest feature of this product is that you can uh, create layers. 
And so you might want to take the noise out of the sky, but maybe you don't really notice the noise in the hills and, and in the rock, right? It's more generally uh, going to be seen in the sky, maybe in the water. So you can create a mask uh, on, uh, for a different layer and just apply the noise to that. So in, in many ways, you're replacing uh, not just a noise reduction product, but also the need to use something like Photoshop or even Lightroom in many cases. So um, that's part of the power of this. Image radiance, right? Uh, warmth and uh, you know, coolness, brightness, etc. You can move things around there. Colors here. Now these are global adjustments: tint, tint, color. You know, saturation, vibrance, the usual kind of stuff. But uh, you can you can make those adjustments. And details. The cool thing here is they have a global details, a highlights, and a shadow. So you can adjust the details based on uh, whether it's a highlight or a shadow, or if you want to uh, apply the detail uh, changes to the entire image. Uh, but then also it's small, medium, and large. So again, it it replaces a lot of uh, the need to do uh, this in other products. Glow is uh, kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of fun. It gives it a little bit of an ethereal feel, especially the further you go. So it gets a little moodier, right? Um, but it's, uh, it can be real pretty. Uh, top and bottom lighting. This is basically a uh, graduated neutral density filter, right? So the tonality for the top, let's say the sky needs to be a little bit brighter. Just drag that to the right, and there you go. But the bottom, you want to brighten that up quite a bit. Uh, let me do that. There you go. So a lot more shine on that rock there. Um, however, um, maybe you don't like really where it sort of uh, lines up. So if you take shift, you can uh, you can move that along, right? Uh, move that up and down within the image. And then rotation, as the name implies, allows you to make those changes. And, and as you can see, especially in this photo, you can make the light fall in, in vastly different ways. So I kind of like that. It uh, brightens up some of those distant hills and, and gives it some nice pops. So I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, tone curve, you've probably seen this before. A lot of people do that, um, you know, applying an S-curve. I'm not going to do anything, but that's built in as well. Color filters, this is your ability to change saturation, uh, as you can see there, and luminance, as you can see here for all of the different uh, major colors. So it's beautiful that that is built in. And again, another reason that you don't have to go to Lightroom or Photoshop to make these sort of changes. Um, color toning is cool. Um, I'm a fan of split toning. It's something that I've been using a lot in Lightroom. Really love to do, uh, to apply that to images. Um, but this basically has split toning. So you can just sort of grab uh, whatever sort of split toning effect you want to have. Let's take this one, for example, where I added a little bit of a blue uh, overcast uh, or you know overlay to the, uh, to the top of the image and a little bit more orange to the bottom. And then as you can see here, for the highlights, you can make saturation adjustments separately from the shadow adjustments down here, right? Um, so that's just an example. I'm going to turn that off because I kind of like the image the way it was, but uh, that's an example. And then vignette. And again, you go left uh, and you're going to drop a nice vignette in there. You go to the right and you're going to sort of brighten up the edges. One of the things I think is really cool, um, which is a feature I like in other products, is the ability to just affect... Uh, uh, well, I'm sorry, not just effect, but to effect, affect the, uh, in the inside of the vignette as well as uh, the vignette itself. So up here, I slid it left. I'll do it a little bit more to make it more obvious. Uh, there's a very strong vignette by dragging that slider all the way to the left. But uh, in turn, you can take this inner light and bump that to the right, and then you're really bumping up the light uh, on the section that's not covered by the vignette. So pretty cool. Uh, it's like a dark and light and center, which you may have seen in other products. Uh, very cool. I'm going to turn that off again. Um, and then the last part is layers. That's beautiful. So here you can say sky changes or something. Let's pretend we're going to do something with the sky. So now I can go and create a layer for the sky. And what you do is let's uh, let's collapse these menus again. Let's say that there's uh, there's not in this case, but let's pretend there's a whole bunch of noise in the sky. Uh, I'm still collapsing all these. There's so many uh, menus uh, options here. It's it's great. Um, but let's pretend you want to denoise just the sky, assuming there's a lot of it. Um, you actually make these adjustments before you, you do the mask. So let's say you want to take the HDR noise out, and it, and if you can tell, it's it's making the... Um, I'll zoom in a little bit in the sky so you can see this better. Um, but uh, let's say you want to take uh, some of the noise out, and you want to go super smooth. I'm just... I'm doing a lot of uh, change there, but if I turn this off, there's the original and uh, turn it back on, that's what happened. But again, it applied it to the whole image. So I'm gonna zoom back out, or I could have done, uh, if I was zoomed out, I could do this fit to screen. 
um, and I want to mask in just the, uh, the the noise adjustments to the sky, right? As you can see, it's affected the whole image. So I go, uh, go and grab this brush. Uh, I'm going to change the size a little bit, which I can do there, or I could also do with the left and right bracket key. And then I'm just going to paint this in. And you might be wondering, well, how do you know what you're painting? Well, I come over here, I hit the mask eyeball, and there you go. You can see what you're masking. So you are now masking those changes just to the sky. And I'm doing this kind of roughly because it's just a quick video. And then I'm going to turn off mask. And now let me zoom in again. Now those uh, changes have been made to the sky, but they have not been made to the uh, this part of the image down below, right? So there we go. That's a, that's a quick uh, view of, there you go, there's a little better view of it. Oh, I gotta quit touching that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the sky has been denoised. Now I would do it a little bit finer uh, adjustment wise with that brush if I wasn't just kind of rushing through this, but that's, uh, that's how you can do it. I'll snap back, fit to screen, and then you have a finished image. All you do is hit apply and uh, you're done. So that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, have a good day. Thanks.